all right it's kind of helpful that i have this light on so i can tell if this mic is working hopefully it doesn't like turn off in the middle it's a very cheap mic that i got from amazon let's hope this works okay so the first question i received was how do you manage to do everything so so inspiring honestly i don't know i feel like sometimes i could do a lot more like i see people doing a lot more and i'm just like i look at them and i'm like how do these guys do a lot so i guess that we're just in like constant comparison or like trying to be productive but honestly i have recently kind of started to slow my life a little bit um do things that i like genuinely genuinely enjoy and one thing that has been super helpful is last month i did like a instagram detox so i would delete an instagram and my screen time dropped from like three four hours sometimes eight hours in the weekend it was that bad to like 45 minutes and that too was like viber talking to my family which is like how so that i think just like cutting off social media and i don't want to know what like hundred of my friends are eating today or like you know what are they doing over the weekend like if you just kind of eliminate social media i think it's like a really uh time saving method <laughs> just get rid of instagram and it's gonna get you a lot of time honestly um so the second question is uh, what's the top tip to stand out in job search process honestly it's kind of tough i myself have been giving interviews i'm gonna i'm not gonna lie to you um it is uh, not easy as it used to be back in the days in 2021 2022 um, and i think uh, you can stand out by kind of matching what's in the job description to your resume that's obviously like you kind of um, go uh, through the ATS system and you make sure that you know ATS recognizes that you're the person that is uh, eligible for the role given the job description right um, so that's one thing and <clears throat> like try going to conference in person event LinkedIn connect I feel like online ap 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 online application does not work anymore sadly and even referrals are not working unless like someone's actually going to the HR's office and you know and they are saying, hey, I want this person, I want someone to interview this person. I think just referral, just referral is not working either. So it's just a tough market and um, just be prepared, well prepared for the technical interviews, behavioral interviews. Sometimes people miss out on behavioral interview, but a, certain, a lot of companies are looking at some specific behavior, uh, behavioral answers, you know, like how you think, how you feel about um, working with people you don't like or some questions like that, right? Like just be sure that you're able to answer it. Uh, how is the job market according to you right now? Horrible, um, but uh, especially if you need sponsorship. So if you are um, American citizen, it's I think much easier. Uh, how to decide a major? Honestly, don't worry about that. I feel like we put a lot of pressure on, oh, this is what a dream role, this is what my dream job should be, but I don't think dream job exists. Like. Um, like you know like who who is dreaming about a job nobody so yeah dream job dream job does not exist and uh to decide a major i would say be undecided for maybe a semester or six months and take multiple classes see what you like and is your main goal making money is your main goal helping people and uh try to <coughs> navigate uh you know make some decision points and come to a conclusion uh, but when i was in plus two um i asked my cousin and you know people above me i was like yo how to decide a major and they'd just be like follow your passion sons because you know that time three idiots was releasing and everyone's just like follow your passion follow your passion but like nobody is dreaming about their job nobody has a passion to work nine to five so <clears throat> then it doesn't matter i'm so sick bro i'm sorry if i'm coughing constantly um so yeah yeah, for me it was money. I wanted to make money, so that's why I came into CS. And I also have a very like uh, I was good at mathematics, um, so algorithms. You know that was kind of interesting to me, problem solving. So that's how I decided. Um, a lot of questions were about what's my tech stack. So I'm a consultant, so I have multiple tech stack that I've worked on in the past few years. Um, my primary is like TypeScript, AWS, but right now I'm currently working on um, Python and AWS, uh, and also some Java. <coughs> really want to know did you can backlog in 12 students can apply for us ambassadors i think so i think a lot of people who have the backlog in um bachelors also apply for masters right i think it's really about how you present what kind of university you get into and you're just you're able to justify it to the visa officer that you're a capable student and whatever happened in the, the results sheet it's not it doesn't define you i think uh 
if you don't make that point it's going to be difficult like they would think that you're not a genuine student who's interested in studying but i definitely don't think that should stop you from applying so do apply but have a reasoning to you know if they, they were to ask you like why did you you know fail be able to justify you know what's your nighttime routine that helps you get up early honestly i think i do one thing that's like i open my blinds and i have um, i open the windows a window pane a little bit so that i can see the sunlight coming and i can hear like the the thing that's going outside like the traffic the birds i think that kind of naturally wakes me up uh you know gradually instead of just alarm i hate waking up to an alarm um so yeah nepal the cyber security co-internship problem is very hard am i trying i'm trying for full stack should i i mean honestly i've heard that cyber security is difficult in the u.s to get a job because you need to have a clearance meaning you have to have an you have to be an american citizen most of the time because you're working on cyber security um but so i've seen a lot of my friends switch from cyber security to uh full stack i mean i feel like it's kind of the same no but i mean it's nice that you have you have both knowledge so you can put that both on your resume okay the next thing is um how did you work full-time while pursuing master did it affect your opt um no so it didn't affect my opt i did get a rfe um request for evidence uh, from uscis which i submitted and uh, two days later i got my opt and yeah i did my master's while working full-time as a software engineer which is like good deal okay what's the next question hold on <laughs> uh like this was the most asked question am i single i don't know why a lot of people want to know i'm single and the answer is no i'm not single right now um uh yeah uh, <laughs> and I, i got i got some question about how do i get time for traveling honestly i make it a priority um, i went to singapore with my family in april like i feel like i don't know what's the point of making money if you're just like stacking it up so you can spend in like 40 years i mean you, i don't even know if i'm gonna you know be alive in next year or you know so um, i try to prioritize it uh, it's, it's it's fun i have s- kind of stopped solo traveling because i have realized that i enjoy traveling with my family my friends uh you know and my loving people my boyfriend <laughs> um so yeah um at what age did you move to us i moved here when i was 19 and right now i'm 27 so there was a lot of question around my age as well like A lot of people said I did not look 27, but I am 27. And there was one question about like how tall I was. I'm 5'2", and uh, someone said that they feel insecure about their height. Now listen to me. I was the most insecure person ever when I was in school because I was not very conventionally attractive. Like I was dark and you know I was tanned and I I had a unibrow. I was just very like studious and I did not give a f about my appearance. So I, I was insecure as well. I never thought I was pretty, but uh, I think that really helped me because I was not really focused on um, wrong things. I would say like I was not really focused on you know, finding a boyfriend or like making sure you know I don't know I get along with like pretty girls or something like that. I was only head down, uh, focused on my studies, and that kind of um, helped me long term. Uh, now I'm able to build my career, and uh, you know I'm able to buy the dresses I like, work out, and. Um, um, all that <laughs> focus on my appearance <laughs> yeah um but yeah, do not be insecure you will learn that later uh you know once you're old and mature i feel like when when you're like 19 20 you're just like kind of you know you're not kind of prepped to handle a lot of emotions so don't be too harsh on yourself um how's life in us in general so honestly um i was super stressed uh two months ago because uh we're having like layoffs and i had not gotten a client like i was l- very stressed i was sad um and i every time i used to talk to my friend I, it was just it was just like me venting i, like, I don't know what i'm gonna do i make it late off blah, 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 blah. now i have a client i have a job and uh, you know i um i um i'm doing pretty well i've been getting like good feedback uh from the client so um Yeah, I feel like as long as I have a stable income life is good, but then again there's like uncertainty in the tech industry and uh, so there's like ups and downs. Overall right now it's like the happiest I've ever been. Okay. So just got Insta and find your post cool even though I'm a doc and not a techie. Thank you. Uh how did I get my first internship and where did I do my schooling? So I did my schooling in VS Niketan it's like in Minbawan Kathmandu and uh, I got my first internship by actually um talking to someone via LinkedIn and he happened to be a Nepali and he referred to me 
he said he literally went to the HR and was like, hey, I really want you to interview this person. And like, yeah, um, that's how things happened. That's how I got into tech. Um, Sachi, PhD la US cost us up. Um, I think it's really good for PhD. Ow, my legs. I think it's really good for a PhD because um, masters, when you do your masters, you have very less time to find an internship to uh, accommodate to, to US culture um, and, um, you know, making friends and all that. Like, I think two years is, and then you are stressed about your job, finding job or internship. So I think uh, I like PhD option more because you have more time and you have more time to find a job and you have, uh, it's also more likely that you will get a good job and it's gonna like help you in your green card journey later um so if you have citations you're definitely gonna get the green card with the good lawyer um yeah okay um what else was the question uh okay i got a lot of question about uh does uni ranking matter a lot when applying for jobs it does not honestly it does not anymore anymore i think back in the days it did matter that's why people used to go 